Here's what looks like another Husky Big Skies. So you tell me. This is up here in Horizon. Maybe if I see it when I come back, I'll try to do another one of my animal control calls. And we could uh, see how the county sheriff responds compared to the city. Like when I called a couple weeks ago to the city. Because this is about the same time as 1045 in the morning. And the last time I called the city, it was... It was around that time. It was a little earlier. It was like 10, 15. So I have to leave right now. But if I come back and I see that dog or any others running around my subdivision here in Horizon City, perhaps I'll give a, the, sh the sheriff's animal control a call. And we'll see how that, uh, that, that branch of government responds to my call for a loose dog. All right. Oh, and there he is again. That must be somebody's dog. I mean, it looks cared for to me. Like I said, I think it's a hus husky mix, but maybe, maybe it's not. Maybe I'm totally wrong. Maybe these dogs that look like this just like naturally wild or natural wild dogs that live out in the desert or something. I don't know. Here I am up in Horizon. I'm looking at another dog that looks like a Husky mix to me. So. Let's try to follow this guy. He probably lives around here somewhere. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. And we will do more research on animal control in El Paso County, Texas, and the city of El Paso, Texas, comparing them side by side, both animal control units, and then um, just doing research on the animal shelter on Fred Wilson itself, which I believe is the only one operated by the government, whether it's the county or the city, unless there's another one you guys could tell me about. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.